direction like west, south, east, north. How can you specify the coordinates? Over. Well, actually, we do use the west, south, east, and north. Uh, we we use uh, the same coordinates as on Earth to understand where we are um, or when we are flying over the Earth or a specific site. So uh, that's how we define our position using a GPS. Over. My name is Kerem. Is it hard to sleep in a position against gravity in space? Over. Well, yeah, you know, we don't stay, we really, what we do, we have a, a sleeping bags that we attach to the wall of our two quarters, our little rooms, and we sleep inside the, the, the, the, the, the, the bags, the, the sleeping bags, so that we don't fly, don't float away. Over. My name is Doruk. Where is the space black? Over. Well, Doruk, the, 
space is black because there is there is no light to refract. There is nothing that the light can uh, be absorbed by. So uh, the, the sky is blue because when the light goes through, it gets absorbed except for the for the blue light, and that's why it looks blue. Uh, and everything that you see is the color that it reflects. It, but in the sky, in in the space, there is nothing to reflect light. That's why it's black. Or my name is Aiden. Is there any danger traveling to space? Over. Well, uh, it, it certainly flying in space is a risky business. Uh, there are lots of things that can happen. Uh, malfunctions, uh, the, you know, the rockets, the spacecraft can malfunction, any system can malfunction. We can be hit by micrometeorites or space debris. Uh, but uh, the, our engineers are really, really good and they take care of all those cases and they train us. Over. My name is Ella. What was the strangest question that was asked you in your previous contacts? And what was your answer? Over. Well, I guess the one of the stranger questions that I always get is uh, the, what is the most important task here on the space station? And I don't really think that there is an important one task that is more important than the other, but I sure think that fixing the toilet so that everybody can use it is very important. Over. Hi, my name is Ozan. Uh, what would you do if you came across with a strange creature? Over. Oh, wow. I have uh, really never thought about that because I, I really don't think I, the, the chances that uh, I meet a strange creature are much, much, much higher on the ground than it is that they are in orbit on the space station. And the strangest creature I see is myself in the mirror. But I think that what I would do if it, if it seemed friendly, I would just uh, say hello, and if it didn't seem friendly, I would probably go the other way. Over. My name is Melis. What belonging is the most valuable to you in ISS? Over. The same, the same belonging that is the most valuable to me on the ground. It's time. Over. My name is Aras. How is the internet connection in space? Over. It's really good, actually. We have a new system that uh, doubled the, the speed uh, compared to the last time I was here six years ago. And so now, thanks to the satellites, we, are, we have internet almost all the time. Over. My name is Bartu. How many years were you dream to become an astronaut? What is your dream? Over. Yes, it was one of my dreams. I, I, I had and still have many dreams, and being an astronaut was one of them. And I had to train for about um, one year to become an astronaut, and then every time I fly, it takes about two years of training. Over. My name is Daphne. What's the hardest stage that you passed before being an astronaut? Over. The hardest thing I had done until becoming an astronaut probably was becoming a pilot, earning my wings and learning to fly. Over. My name is Simai. How can you get used to no gravity in space? Over. Well, actually, it does, your body does it uh, by itself. It's like when you go camping or when you go uh, to a different place. The, the, you know, when you get there initially, uh, everything is different, but then you get adjusted to it without even thinking. And the body is an amazing, amazing machine that adjusts and adapts, and your brain is the same. Over. My name is Dora. After spending a long time in space, how long does it take to get used to everyday life? Over. Well, physically, uh, everybody's a little bit different, but it takes anywhere from uh, from uh, six weeks to six months to get back in shape, in the same shape that you were before leaving. But mentally, mentally, I don't think. Oradan kapandı. Şimdi bağlanın izleyelim. Şu an. Bağlanın kapandı. Kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Evet, biz de kapandı. Bugün e, bizler 
Yani bilimsel bir yolculuğa çıkmış, hayatını bu anlamda bir misyonu olarak kullanan e, insanlarla sohbet etme fırsatı bulduk. Geleceğe Atatürk gibi bakmak hepimizin sorumluluğunda. Hepimizin bu anlamda kendisini sorması, sorgulaması gereken sorular var. Onlara hep birlikte soralım. Vereceğimiz cevaplar ve geleceğimiz daha güzel olsun diye. Çok teşekkür ederim. Biz e, az önce amatör tersizcilik e, yoluyla ARIS projesi kapsamında e, biz uzaydaki ya, e, ve Uluslararası Uzay İstasyonu'ndaki astronot olan Luca, Par e, Luca ile görüştük e, ve onlara sor ona sorumuzu sorduk. E, biz e, bir tersiz yoluyla e, astronotlarla haberleştik ve e, bunun e, böylece de e, aslında merak ettiğimiz soruları öğrenmiş olduk cevaplarını. Tam heyecanımı gösteremesem de aslında içinde çok heyecanlıydım. Ee, böyle bir şey yani hayatımda yapmayı düşünemezdim. Ve bu yüzden çok mutluyum. Aslında provalarda çok fazla e, heyecanlanmıyordum. Ama gerçekten konuşmaya başlayınca heyecan çok arttı. Hatta bir ara kalbimin böyle küt küt attığını bile hissettim. Ee, çok heyecanlıydı. Ee... Benimki, benim sorum son beş soru arasında olduğu için sormama ihtimalimiz vardı. Ben mutlu oldum ama arkadaşım soramadığı için biraz duygulandım ve üzüldüm. İlk başta provalarda çok heyecanlı değildim ama sonradan gerçekten bağlandığımızda çok heyecanlandım. Yani çünkü bu fırsat elimize çok fazla hayatımız boyunca geçmiyor.